You're here to know the salary of a web developer in Finland, so without wasting your time, let's get right into it. Keep in mind that all these numbers are based on what I've seen and I've heard so far. So don't take them too seriously as exact figures. First up, we have the trainee level. As a trainee web developer in Finland, you're usually at the final years of your undergraduate studies. Trainees typically earn between 2000 and 2500 euros per month. It's a great starting point to gain experience and learn the ropes of web development. Next, we move on to junior developers. These are developers with some experience under their belt, usually one or two years. Junior web developers can expect to earn around 25 to 3500 euros per month. Not bad for a few years of experience, right? Now let's talk about mid-level developers. With three to five years of experience, you're more seasoned and can handle complex tasks. Mid-level web developers in Finland earn between 35 and 4500 euros per month. This is the stage where your expertise starts to significantly impact your paycheck. Moving up the ladder, we have senior developers. These professionals have 5 plus years of experience and often take on leadership roles in projects. In Finland, senior web developers can earn between 45 and 60 hundred euros per month. Your skills and experience really start to pay off at this level. Next, we have middle management and CTO. These roles typically involve overseeing teams and projects, combining technical skills with managerial responsibilities. Middle management salaries in Finland range from 6 to 10 thousand euros per month. Now to understand the salaries better, you need to know about taxes in Finland. Finland has a progressive tax system, which means the more you earn, the higher your tax rate is. So in some cases, people think that having a more difficult job with apparently more salary is not worth it, because after tax, the difference is not that much. For instance, as a mid-level developer, if your gross salary, which is the salary before tax, is 4000 euros at the end of the month after the tax and pension deduction it's going to be something around 2800 euros if your salary is 5000 euros as a senior after the deductions it's something around 3400 euros see the gap is almost half of the original difference you may think that these salaries are not good especially if you compare them with high tech companies in canada or usa but to make sense of them you also need to understand expenses, benefits, work-life balance, work pressure, and other important factors. So if you want to know more about these aspects, please keep watching the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's start with expenses. In general, you can rent an apartment with around 800 euros, suitable for a couple. If you prepare your food at home, you can minimize the expenses for food and keep it as low as 800 euros for a couple. There are other expenses like SIM cards, electricity and transportation that can be handled with 300 euros. So you can have a healthy and happy life as a couple with around 2000 euros. I know it can be a bit difficult for some people to live with that amount of money. But if you have to do that, you can do that. If you're an immigrant and you have a more difficult situation, you can decrease your expenses even a bit more here and there. I have already talked about expenses in more details in another video. You may want to check that as well. Next, let's talk about benefits. These often include comprehensive healthcare coverage, generous paid parental leave, and substantial vacation bonuses. Companies usually provide employees with health and hobby benefits through apps like Small Room or ePassy. It's usually around 500 euros throughout the whole year. Another benefit is the holiday pay which is around 50% of your salary but it can vary from job to job. You may say that the money and the benefits are better in other countries like USA or Canada. So let me tell you about more important aspects of being a developer in Finland. As a web developer who has worked three years here so far, I don't have to be worried about deadlines or the pressure of the job that much. When I close my laptop and go home, I don't need to think about work anymore. Weekends are completely for myself. The reason is that the Finnish culture really respects the balance between life and work. As a developer, even though you need to work five days a week with seven and a half hours each day, in the end you have flexible hours to work whenever you want and from wherever you want. And when you run out of vacation, you can have minus 20 hours in your work balance. 
These are pretty much the same in most European countries. But one thing that is really important here is job security. Job security for web developers is generally strong due to the high demand for digital skills across various industries. Also, there are a lot of great tech funds for unemployment that can't support you in case you get fired. But because the laws support employees mostly, the layoff rate in this industry is low. Finland often ranks high in global happiness and quality of life service, reflecting the country's commitment to ensuring a good balance between work and personal life. Public transportation, healthcare system, the cleanness of the environment, having access to pure and clean nature are other important benefits you can get when you live in Finland. But since it's not necessarily related to being a web developer, I leave them for other videos. However, one thing can piss off many developers and that is Finland's winters and coldness. That can be difficult for some people, but it has its beauties. I try to talk about them in the future, but until then, take care of yourself.